Who are you people? Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Um, today I'm going to be explaining a theory I have about Luke Cage showing up in the new Hulk movie. And let's get straight into this video so because this is going to be a pretty long one. So, there have been rumors about a Hulk movie coming up which is going to be World War Hulk. Now, this is probably going to be the next Hulk movie. And and it's also been rumored or confirmed, I'm not pretty sure, but I'm pretty sure it's rumored that the leader, which is a Hulk villain, is going to be a villain in the actual new Captain America movie. And now this is pretty sick news because we haven't gotten a Hulk movie since that not so good one in 2008, I'm pretty sure it was. Uh, but I think we are making the War War Hulk movie. Now, I know that this sounds pretty really insane that Luke Cage is going to be in it. Because if this is a World War Hulk movie, it's probably going to be a more focused story on the superheroes that Hulk is going to be fighting. But I think having Luke Cage in there will be a pretty good uh, thing to happen. And I think it will. And now I'm going to be explaining why. Luke Cage will probably show up before the World War Hulk movie comes out. He will probably be in a cameo or maybe in a pretty big role like in an episode in the show. Maybe in the Punisher TV show that is rumored to be in the works. Or maybe in a Jessica Jones TV show that is going to be in the works. But I think Luke Cage is one of the upcoming defenders that is going to be returning. Now, I, I am not sure if it's going to be with the same actor, but I think it is. Because and there has been an Instagram post of um, the actor, the actress of Jessica Jones and the actor of Luke Cage together working on something. And this could be a thing for the MCU. So I think they are uh, going to be um, together in the MCU with the same actors. And I think that when Luke Cage is introduced, he is going to be in World War Hulk. Now this would be pretty sick. Why? Because Luke Cage finding Hulk is an interesting concept. Luke Cage is the bulletproof man. Nothing, basically nothing can hurt him. Yes, the Iron Fist does hurt him, but it doesn't do much damage to him. He does get up. And when he fights Bushmaster, yes, he does get hurt, but he eventually defeats him. Same thing with Diamondback. Because, and I think that a Hulk, him fighting Hulk would be pretty hard. But this could be a scene that is pretty interesting. Imagine going to see the World War Hulk movie that is rumored to come out. You walk, you go walk to the theater, and then you watch the movie, and then Hulk is fighting a couple of Marvel's Avengers, and Luke Cage could be there working with the Defenders, and but there could only be Luke Cage there. And then Luke Cage like says something like "Sweet Christmas," and then he fights and starts fighting the Hulk. Now, he will probably lose if he fights this fight. I'm not saying that Luke Cage is weak. I'm just saying that for the movie to um, go on, um, Hulk must go on a rampage in that scene. Which means Luke Cage can't take him out. So, uh, and I also think that Luke Cage wouldn't take him out because he can't. But still. So, um, so we're gonna probably see a Luke Cage as World War Hulk scene. As Hulk uh, scene in the movie that's coming out. This would be sick, okay? And I think that if Luke Cage does show up in this scene, if this movie releases in Phase 7, 8, or 6, if we're lucky, then Luke Cage will probably have um, screen time related to that phase. If it's Phase 6, he will probably not have a lot of screen time and maybe not even show up. If it's Phase 7, he will probably show up with minimum screen time. And if it's phase 7, he will have enough screen time for people to be, like, super hyped about. Because if it's phase 8, sorry, I said phase 7, I know, sorry. If it's phase 8, which I think when they're, um, 50, like, 50% 50 going to release this movie, Luke Cage is going to be showing up in a pretty good amount in the movie. Not, like, not, not like 20, 30 minutes or something. I think, like, 10 or 5 minutes for a scene. If it is going to be um, in Phase 7, I think he is just going to show up for 5 minutes or maybe even less for a quick fight with the Hulk just to show us that Luke Cage is in this connected universe. And if it's in 
if it's in phase seven, uh, six, sorry, then I don't think they're going to show sh show a lot of Luke Cage or maybe not even like a yeah, scene of Luke Cage. Maybe they're going to show him seeing Hulk fight people um, on the TV and then he's going to say, sweet Christmas, I should probably go help with that, but we won't see him. Because Luke Cage will probably not be super like introduced and super and like a lot a lot of the story tilled in the MCU if it is going to be in that. But there there could also be the Punisher in that movie. Now this would be kind of weird, but I think this is a pretty good concept. Um we've seen some um, times where the Punisher fights Hulk in the comics. So maybe you could try to stop him, maybe he shoots a bullet at him, and then Hulk just like throws a uh, rock at him. So if we do see that, we could see an interaction between Punisher and Luke Cage. And this could probably set up Punisher as maybe a villain or maybe a helper sometimes for the Defenders. Now, this is a long shot, but I think this could happen. Marvel could do this. And if they would, that would be sick. And as it for today's video, guys, I really hope you enjoyed the Defenders. And I hope I will see you in the next time. Subscribe, hit the like button. And write a comment on your own theory on how Luke Cage is going to appear in the MCU or what he's going to do there. See you in the next one, Defenders.